The general belief that selfishness is a fait accompli is underpinned by the present scientific view of reality. However, I believe that humanity has the potential to rise above selfishness. My name is Tom Cahallon and I am the author of Dark Energy and Human Consciousness. I've spent the past 12 years researching the origin and evolution of the universe, life, mind and human consciousness in an effort to try to find an answer to the following question. Why is there so much poverty, starvation, conflict, war and suffering in our world? The fundamental source of these problems, I believe, is the natural trait of selfishness that's innate in every human being. In this view of reality, the claim by scientists that life is purely a physical phenomenon, although indefensible, means that selfishness is a fait accompli. The natural propensity of matter is toward lower complexity, as explained by the second law of thermodynamics and the concept of entropy. In terms of human consciousness, the lowest level of complexity is to offer care and compassion to the self only, which is selfishness. Therefore, if life is purely physical, then selfishness, corruption, abuse of power and greed will always dominate in our main institutions. And there is therefore no escape from the poverty, starvation, conflict, war and suffering that plagues our world at the present time. However, I believe that there is an unphysical aspect to life which will bring about a new scientific view of reality. In this new model, life is a union of the physical and the non-physical. Mind and human consciousness are therefore influenced by both the physical, which is gravitational, and the non-physical, which is expansionary. Therefore, if we acknowledge and nurture the non-physical aspect of our being, it will bring balance to our mind. I believe that science will very soon acknowledge that dark energy influences life. When this time comes, science can declare that life is influenced by both the physical and non-physical aspects of our being. This reality can then be taught to our children as a scientific fact rather than a religious belief, since teaching religious beliefs in schools can be divisive. This view of reality will then seep into our political, public service, religious and financial institutions. This is humanity's path to freedom from selfishness, corruption, abuse of power, greed, poverty, starvation, conflict and war.